What's an industry secret in the field you work in? I design slot machines for casinos. Don't play slots. Managed boarding and grooming kennels for 8 years. The secret is that the employees actually do love your pets too. Even the difficult ones. Most of us realize they just miss their people. The number of times I've weeped when a pet died. Or spent way too many hours comforting a dog with separation anxiety. Or spent hours off the clock with a boarder who needed to be rushed to a vet office. Wouldn't trade it for the world. Some pets just suck though. Not gonna lie. I'm a server. No matter how much we insist it's okay that you are keeping the entire restaurant open after we've closed. Please know we are 100% lying. We will get fired if we deviate from anything other than pure delight that you are keeping us from going home. We dread it. Please don't believe us. I'm an attorney. The secret is shut the up. Vodka is really. Really. Really cheap to make. I used to work in jewelry. Most of the prettiest gemstones are also very affordable. Tanzanite is a beautiful purple and looks nicer than amethyst. Topaz comes in lots of colors. Including a pretty blue color which can be as nice as aquamarine. Opals aren't as brightly rainbow hued as they look in pictures. Almost every hairstylist gets the heebie jeebies when we shampoo your hair and you just stare up at us. Close. Your. Damn. Eyes at the shampoo bowl. Used to screen resumes for small companies. Job requirements are more of a wish list situation. Never let some unchecked boxes deter you from applying. You have no idea what the applicant pool is like. The biggest boon. Especially at small companies. Is someone who legitimately cares. Literally got a job last week that I was unqualified for. I said. It. I'm running out of places to apply. Let's give it a shot. Couple days later they replied. Set up an interview. And I somehow have a job tomorrow morning during a pandemic. Just go for it. There is way more butter than you think in almost every dish you eat at fancy restaurants. And that is usually the reason you won't see the amount of calories in each dish. Sauce. 5 years as a chef in Italian cuisine head chef. 8 years in an Italian kitchen. Edit. Since it has been asked. If I could recommend one guidebook for you all to have in your kitchen it would be salt. Fat. Acid. Heat. Mastering the elements of good cooking by Salmon Nosrat. Yes there are plethora of others but this one is my personal favorite. Former Bath and Body Works associate here. The sense they discontinue will come back with a different name and new marketing. They're just recycling the sense. Some therapist counselors are on the wrong side of the couch. So to speak. If you feel your mental health provider is unhinged. They may very well be. Change your dirty furnace filters and clean your AC coils outside. These make up an easy 30% of my calls for no heat cooling. I did more attention than I thought. So real quick you have two coils. Inside and outside. Your furnace filter keeps the inside one clean so make sure that filter is clean. Outside coil kill power to the unit. Removed the coil garden top. Usually 5 stroke 16 or 1 stroke 4 nut driver and like 20 screws. Don't use high pressure water simply on a shower setting and hold it a few inches away from the coil. Do from both ways. Button that beauty up and wait for it to dry before turning power back on. Your head pressures are gonna love you. Edit 2 oh don't forget to blow your condensate line more than your husband. At Goodwill 50% of what you donate ends up in the trash BC we don't have the space for it or we just deem it too ugly. All I'm saying is there is a reason no one who works in the RV industry owns an RV. Edit. Just some clarification. I work in an Elkhart. Indiana which is the RV capital of the world. As other people have quality is on all the major companies. The big ones being Thor. Forest River. And Grand Design. These three companies own probably 90% of all RV companies so check who owns what you are buying. There are some mom and pop shops that do put out good products but those are pretty few and far between. 
as a software engineer. Double your delivery date for a product in anticipation of an overeager project manager trying to get promoted. The industry leading software is about at least 10 years old at its core. If you're someone who purchases bulk nuts, grains, etc. Just know that those bins are probably rarely cleaned. And even when they are cleaned, odds are they were just rinsed out wiped down to look clean. I used to be a bulk buyer at Whole Foods Market and when I took over our bulk department had no cleaning logs or sanitizing procedure. The bins had moths insect colonies and mold in them. Our store was opened nearly 5 years prior. The cheapest bottle of wine in the restaurant has the biggest markup. The best therapists go to therapy. You'd be surprised how willingly someone will do their job and even go above and beyond if you just compliment them for their professionalism. Politeness and how they are helping them. Edit. Not an industry I work in per se. But I used to be in a sales role. One of my customers was a milk bottling plant. I was somewhat surprised that they were putting the exact same milk in both organic and non-organic cartons. Turns out all of their milk is organic. But in order to not miss out on the sales of non-organic milk, they just bottle them differently and sell them at different prices. Construction boy here. If your windows or sliding doors are tough to open and close. 9 times out of 10. We put your own dish soap on tracks and the thing works perfectly. It take 5 minutes and we charge 150. Dish soap people. Literally not 5 minutes ago I was closing the slider in my bedroom thinking aside it's time I finally look up solutions to make this thing glide easier. So I hopped on the internet. Naturally got distracted by reddit first. And now here we are. So serendipitous. Amusement park ride operator here. If your kid is crying and you want us to stop the ride. Even if we want to it's not gonna stop immediately. The carousel will spin a few more circles or the ship will swing a few more times before stopping. The only exceptions is the emergency stop which will absolutely up the ride for a while if we press it. Hence we only use it in actual life threatening situations. The best thing you can do is try to get your kid to calm down as the ride comes to a stop and no. Yelling stop the ride at us does not make it stop any faster. Nobody uses bots to inflate metrics more than the most major players in the entertainment industry. All the numbers are fake. Including sales. It costs about $200.000 to put your own book on the top of the New York Times bestseller list. All you have to do is buy a lot of copies yourself. And if that bestseller status helps you sell more books, you can make that $200. 000 back by selling the big stock of books you've collected. They lie to their customers about saving their credit card information because we aren't supposed to. We also save their social addresses and five of their most recent phone numbers and bank account numbers. If in doubt, lubricate. I'm a machinist. I'm a teacher. If you as a parent will read with your child often and early, your child will thrive in school. I'm talking daily books read together from newborn to about third grade. Every single day. No teacher can replace that. A Asabusa. Edit. I thought we would all understand that there are always exceptions such as dyslexia and learning disabilities. So here's another industry secret. Your child will not always fit the school model. Teachers know that. And that's okay. We are all just people after all. Peace. RV technician here. Is designed to start breaking after around 44 uses. Most RV owners use their trailers on weekends. But not every weekend. So that 44 uses on average stretches between 2 and 3 years. Every client thinks architects are unnecessary and they can draw the plans themselves but they are just too busy. I cannot wait for the day when I can afford to pay an architect to design a home for me. So many of my family members in the old country just designed their homes however the hell they wanted and it's obvious that there was no professional there to say. UHH maybe you shouldn't have a continuously heated pool be the central hub of your home because that'll lead to mold in everything. 
or maybe putting marble tiles on your steep driveway is a bad idea because when it rains your car will literally iron slide into your front door WTF. On the flip side. I have this perception that architects are really expensive to hire. Are they? Edit. Thank you so much to everyone that has offered me kind advice. Knowing how to research the answer to a question is at least as or even more useful than knowing the answer to begin with. I made a living in IT for a decade with that mindset. At Goodwill. We don't clean anything that we sell. And we get some really gross stuff that touches everything else so next time you buy something from Goodwill. Weight loss industry. This might be obvious. But most of our business comes from return clients after they've gained their weight back, and then some. Be clear. The plan isn't rigged to make you gain it back. But the fact that it happens easily as a result of dieting keeps us in business. This is why weight loss is so hard. Go to change your lifestyle permanently. Not just for a few months. A lot of successful artists at a certain level of success do nothing more than create a concept and employ several assistants. Who are either current or graduating art students. Who actually make the art itself. It's reproductions or both. Edit. I know this is old news in the art industry and academy. But outside of it I found it very hard to explain my job to people. I do believe that films also romanticize this field and warp what a lot of outsiders think it actually is. Can 100% vouch for this? I make about the salary of a teacher, less, creating artwork every day for a recognized contemporary sculptor. Who then picks up the work from me at the studio. And then sells what I made for hundreds of thousands. But hey man. His idea. As a former Tsar worker airport security is a lot of theater. Tsar is constantly failing plain cloths inspections. I worked with a guy who got fired because someone showed him an ID with a picture of Mickey Mouse on it and he let the person through because he wasn't paying attention. This should be pretty obvious. But for big brand hotels. If you try to sneak above the hotel and call the corporate customer care line to demand compensation complain. That customer care line will always call the hotel for the full story and not just blindly give compensation. In Microsoft Office. Word specifically. You can upload recorded interviews and it will transcribe it and ever have speaker 1 and speaker 2. 3 and 4. Basically. Eliminating a huge annoying part of the job. Edit WTF. This blew up. Everyone who gave awards and stuff. Your animals. I love you all. Okay. Editing this edit. Haha. <laughs> you do need to be subscribed to office. Then when in word. There is a dictate button. If you click it dictate and transcribe should pop up. Click transcribe. Yes. It's not perfect. But for a reporter who is transcribing all day long and is definitely the most annoying thing ever that I dread doing on a daily basis. It's changed my life. Federal HR here. If you put the words from the vacancy announcement about what you need to qualify in your resume you'll almost always be qualified. We search for those words instead of reading an entire resume. Edit. Let me clarify that we. Or at least I do and those I train. We'll continue to scan the resume for similar experience words and not discount the entire resume immediately. After over 10 years of working for HR you learn what you're looking for and how to do it. Some are easier than others. I know of some HR folks who totally just say non quell if it's not exact. The kind donations people give hoping they go directly to the clients in shelters actually end up at the Salvation Army or Goodwill to be resold, even though we're instructed to tell them that won't be the case, and this is done before the clients are even given the chance to decide if they want some of the donated stuff. As a beginner counselor I worked with a lot of children and adolescents. Consistently the discussion with my colleagues was how it was the parents who were the biggest problem and the kids were just adapting to a crazy environment. Comma oftentimes I wonder how a patient got to be a certain way. Library worker here. The majority of donations we receive do not end up in circulation, on our shelves. No matter how much you demand we put them there once they're donated. The reason why this is. 
is because we only add items to the collection that we think will circulate, be checked out. Most libraries get funding based off of statistics. We don't want to waste shelf space on items that PR aren't checking out. As it won't improve our stats. So. Unless the donated items are brand new. Or by popular authors we will not add them to the collection. We will also weed unpopular items from our collection with extreme prejudice for this reason. Much to our patrons horror. These books usually end up being sold at book sales to help generate funding for other library programs. Dude. I love the local library's annual book sale. They do it 4th of July weekend as this is a touristy area. And it's like a 50 cents for paperbacks and $1 for hardcover. Sad as I am that they aren't doing it this year. I am pretty excited because that means it'll be huge next year. I'm a fossil replicator and apparently the industry secret is the fact that we exist. So many people are blown away to learn that most fossils they see in museums are replicas. Edit. Okay. I'm heading to bed but I'll be back in the morning to continue answering questions since there are so many. Edit 2. We haven't done much with it. But the company I'm with does have their own reddit to share share fossils we find on digs and occasional stuff we are working on. California. Cannabis concentrates. Don't trust that the test results are accurate at all. We were demanded, by the business owner, to use some dirty methods to cheat on potency testing and pesticide testing. Turns out. Those tests can be pretty easy to trick if you know what you're doing. This is ultimately what led to me leaving the industry. Eventually. All of our chemists stopped smoking concentrates altogether for these reasons. Edit. Most of the internet is held together by furious and frantic deadline driven typing. And it's shocking that any of it works at all. I worked for a search engine optimization, say oh, company for about 5 years. It's mostly bull. It's 20% things you can easily do yourself and 80% making money out of you until you realize you can do it yourself. Then. Google changes a 7 to an 8 and it no longer works. Plumber here. There's no such thing as a flushable wipe. The package lies. You drains will clog. And fast. Your landlord will charge you. It's going to suck. Throw wipes in the trash if you use them. Toilets paper is the only acceptable wipe. Not a secret at all. Just not common knowledge somehow. Firefighters are trained on several areas and can specialize deeper into certain disciplines. Most of the emergencies we get called to are situations we have never been trained on. But with four of us on a fire truck we can normally figure out a solution. I'm a dentist. Here's the lowdown on toothpaste. As long as it has fluoride they are all basically the same. When I was in dental school the Colgate lady came by and said that everything that says Colgate total on it is all exactly the same. The only difference is the packaging. So whether it says whitening, or gum protection, or whatever else it is all exactly the same. The exception is sensitivity toothpaste typically does have an extra active ingredient. No 3. Which helps with sensitivity. Don't ever feel obligated to buy the expensive toothpaste because you think it will be better for your teeth. Just buy whatever you like best. Pilots up all the time. You only notice though if you know what to look for. A lot of librarians will waive your fines if you have an excuse and you don't ask too frequently. Even large fines. Also. Librarians don't care about your fines and aren't judging you. Please come back. We personally have more fines than you. Librarians are always overdue with their books. Edit. I wrote this before going to bed and it exploded overnight. Thank you kind strangers for the awards. I'm touched. All your fines are waived for life. Also small grammar edit bc I was nodding off when I wrote this originally. A huge portion of online reviews. Ratings. Social media presence. ETC that you see for any given company are fake. Paid for. Or done by multiple accounts controlled by us. This includes a company's Glassdoor page. Fake reviews about how great it is to work there so that the million negative reviews don't crush their page. 
I'm not saying it's every company out there. But it's been a lot of the ones I've worked for. Source. I'm copywriter. What are ethics? I surely don't know anymore. It. If all other vitals are fine. And they are not in any sort of visible respiratory distress. Most don't physically count respirations each time vitals are taken. Banks don't have millions of dollars in cash in them. Their insurance's rates would be way too expensive. They keep enough on hand to do weekly traffic plus some extra. Structural engineer here. Everything has a chance of failure. I work in logistics for a massive manufacturing company. Money is not in real. $1000 for 8 light bulbs. Edit. I'm at the bottom of the totem pole here. I'm just a glorified mailman who talks to a lot of people who are much higher up than me. I work in medical devices. I can agree. The numbers are all made up. Whatever it should cost. Add two zeros. Now you know what list is. Cut 40% off that. And that's what a big hospital chain pays. But a little hospital only gets 20% off. Do that a couple of million times a year and you have the tens of billions of dollars in revenue a medical devices company makes. The guy who shows up at your house to make repairs is usually the guy who decides how much to charge you. Standing behind him while he works cost extra. Treating him like cost extra. Not so much a secret but a lesser known fact. Kirkland Products. The white label brand from Costco. Are independently tested to beat or exceed the industry leading product in that category. Razor blades. Cookies. Cheese. Laundry pods. If it doesn't beat the industry leader. They won't put the Kirkland name on it. The cocktail you just bought might cover the cost of the entire bottle we use to make it. Former industry. Commercial radio. It's never call a 5. I won something on the radio once. The lady DJ called me back on a few minutes. She forgot to record the call. She told me to act excited. It was hilarious. She blamed it on being pregnant. Said she had lost her mind. Not really a secret but some wholesale nurseries will sell plants for a fraction less than public nurseries and big box retailers. Like one gallon of a shrub will sell for $16 at Home Depot. But at a wholesale nursery that same plant will cost like $2.6. Edit. New construction. That $3 K dollar sign 4K luxury apartment you're renting is slapped together in a rush just like everything else is. Also. If you're on the third floor or above. You have water bottles filled with urine stuffed inside your walls because the elevators are typically finished last. Employment industry. If the email address of the hiring manager or recruiter is included in a job posting. Send an email instead of or an addition to applying to the job through the portal. So many resumes get filtered because of portal based applicant tracking systems automated sorting methods. So if you have the right experience but are missing a keyword or two. Many of which are dictated by folks from HR who have zero expertise in your field. Your resume might not ever make it in front of a human. Please just email me. Any individual part of flying an airplane isn't difficult. It's 100 small things piling up makes things difficult. As opposed to. Say playing the trumpet. Hitting that high note repeatedly is difficult and physically demanding. Landing is easy once you've practiced it a bit. But when it gets difficult you just nope out of there and land somewhere else. Dress codes and other rules bouncers tell you at the door are usually made up on the fly. We are just telling you all diplomatic like that you look like tea. And or that you look poor. Teacher. The parents are more of a hassle than the students. I doubt that is a secret. But there it is. Off one nurse. You off all the nurses. If you order a pizza but like to choose your own toppings. It's often cheaper to choose an existing pizza like a meat supreme or something with loads of toppings. Then swap out all the toppings for ones you want. Than to go for the create your own option in the menu. Note. This is much less awkward if you order online than on the phone. This seems to be a secret to many customers. 
It actually pays off to be patient and polite if you need the staff at a store to resolve an issue or help you with something. Management hates IT. They don't generate revenue. Maintenance as well. Same job. Really. Just different types of machines. And it's crazy how little they even notice me considering how much the equipment I take care of is worth. When it comes to retail. If you're a night crew. Day crew just dicks around all day. And doesn't get anything done. Leaving all of the work for you. If you're day crew. Night crew just dicks around all night. And doesn't get anything done. Leaving all of the work for you. The lighter the roast of coffee. The more caffeine it has. Not the other way around. So often I'll hear people say I'll take a light roast. I don't want to be up all night after all. Haha. <laughs> Remember Rosa the caffeine is in the bean at the start. The more you roast it the more caffeine burns off since it's in the natural oils of the bean. The amount of googling in software development. For a Pyhan base project I needed to understand Pyhan. Anaconda. Jupiter. Numpy. Pandas. Stats models. Facebook profit. Flask. Templates. What forms etc. And I knew none of it beforehand. Except Python a little. And it's not even a very complex project. I've done magnitudes more complex ones. I'm not training your dog. I'm training you. Edit to add. I'm getting a lot of training questions. I understand the need for dog training. But don't have the time, or honestly the will, to answer them all. Basic obedience is really easy to find online. Just be consistent with your approach. For issues regarding any level of aggression. I recommend finding a local trainer who can actually look at the dog. If you're absolutely broke and desperate and dealing with a serious issue. Feel free to DM me and I'll do my best to advise a bit. Then why don't I get a treat?